the unmistakable voice of Joe McKeldry. Do you know what? He was just a little baby when we saw him burst onto our screens in the X Factor. Four studio albums later, our Joe's all grown up. A very good morning to Hello, you. how are you? How are you? I'm yeah, great, I'm really good. I'm That's, excited to be over here. That is it. Well, you're very welcome. Now, I do have to apologise about the Northern Ireland weather, Joe. Oh, it's all right. It, it's it doesn't embarrassing. get any worse than the North East, trust us. <laughs> I suppose not. I suppose not. It's always. It's actually always colder in Newcastle, so we, we Well, actually, that. when we got off the plane last <laughs> night, we landed late last night, it stepped off the plane, it was warmer here than it was over... Was it? Yeah. But there you go. Well, you're going to stay for a nice weekend. We'll talk about why you're over in a minute, but um, I can't believe I just uttered the word four studio albums. I know, it's That's mad. insane. It's ridiculous. It seems like yesterday that you were just on the X Factor <laughs> and this little baby face burst onto our screens and it's this amazing um, voice. Yeah, it's been a bit of a crazy... I mean, it's three three years ago. Yeah. It's just like, it's flew by, to be yeah. honest. I think that's because I've been so busy. Yeah. But um, yeah, I can't believe four albums later. It feels, feels really weird when people say that. We've been having an X Factor fest on this programme all week. Literally every day we've had an X Factor guest. Really? Honestly. Um, but, you know, some contestants from last year and, and 2010 as well. But I have to ask you, like I've asked every one of them, we're in the middle of X Factor fever now again. Of course, the show started last Saturday. Does it does it feel like another lifetime we go all that X Factor? Yeah, yeah, totally. I mean, it it, um, it it has flew by, but I kind of feel like it's one of those things when something that, that big happens in your life, you feel like it didn't happen. Yeah. So I, it, it is quite... Somebody asked that the other day and they were like, you must feel like it didn't happen. And sometimes I'd look back and i think, did it really happen? Yeah. Like, Because I can't remember a lot of it. I just remember it being the most amazing experience, but it just went by so fast. So it was just crazy. But you don't regret No, I would it. do it all again. I really? have so much fun. Because I hate I re- these people that go on that show and then they come out and they go, oh no, I'd never... I wish I hadn't done that and blah, blah, blah. No, I, I mean, listen, I, I, I'm a massive fan of the show. Still am. And I loved it. I loved every minute of it, to be honest. Um, it was, it was, it was a great platform yeah. to move on. You know, without without that show, I wouldn't have been. I wouldn't be able to hear with the new album. So, you, you know, like I just can't believe that I have a fourth brand new album out. It's just ridiculous. That's, that is ridiculous. It's, it's crazy. Uh, I'm sorry, but that is just ridiculous. I'm going to hear a track from the album uh, very, very shortly. But um, I mean, four albums later, and you've decided you've done some co-writing on yeah, this song, new one. Songwriting for the first time. Wow. I mean, was that like... Okay, this is what I'm in this for. This is to express who I am. I think so. I think I, I think and I, I realised that I'd done the classic album, I'd done the Christmas album, I'd done the first album, which which had originals on as well, and I knew I wanted original material on this one. But I kind of knew that to for the next step to grow as an artist more, I knew that it was what I had to do, and I was very anxious about doing it. I mean, yeah. it, it was kind of my manager that was like, "Come on, you can do it. Just try it." And I went in the studio in January and just started and I've never kind of stopped writing since. I really enjoy it now. Um, and I'm just, I feel so lucky that the first time I've written songs, I've been fortunate enough that the label have, have liked them enough to put them on the album. Yeah. You know, sometimes people write for years and years and they go, still not up to the standard that we're, we're looking for. So <laughs> I feel really privileged that they've been like, we really like these. Listen, yeah. let's go with one of your songs for the first single. So... Yeah, could have went the totally different way, but it's it's been really po- a really positive experience. Quite personal, yeah, because it feels strange letting people hear songs that but I it is really personal, personal it? experience yeah. but um, great you know that people get to see that side of it and I was listening to the album you've got some really fantastic classics in there and some of my favourites as well you've done um, you've got Leo Sayre yes, classic when I need there. you yeah. oh, I mean when that song starts it's just like I've told you oh, you had uh, it only it was raining it was raining in the car as well because that was like oh, oh, oh. <laughs> so emotional <laughs> listening to this album it's quite an emotional album it's yeah. full of like emotion and it, it, that wasn't really the the plan it just kind of everything fitted and the original songs that were being submitted i think you know people know me for belting out the big tunes yeah. and, and kind of like really putting the emotion across on songs so it's great that i can put some of them on there but there's some like mid tempo ones there with the big band like structure on them but um yeah i mean the the covers i wanted to be a bit clever with them and choose ones that people wouldn't expect and if they did expect them 
create a totally different version. So, like, something's got a hold of my heart, Gene, Gene Pitney. Pitney. It's you'll have heard it's stripped back, totally different to the original. Yeah. So that it gives a, it, it makes it like an original, and it's put my own stamp on it. And it's always a, a risky thing to do because you know people who love and are very loyal to originals when you start doing a twist on yeah. it they either love it or they hate it but I have to say these are very very good and uh, one lady who is no stranger to this studio is Beth Nielsen Chapman oh. and Northern Ireland people love she's Beth. incredible she's an incredible songwriter and um, you've chosen two of her songs as well yeah she submitted um, two of the songs the first one being How We Love and I heard it and fell in love with it and I was like she was like I want you to record this yeah I was like, oh, wow. I mean, the lyrics are so simple but beautiful. Tell such a great story. Um, and she's featured on, on one of that. Like, she does loads of the back and behind us and the harmonising. It's kind of like a little duet. Yeah. Um, and then another one called My Love Will Find You, which is a great kind of big, epic anthem. It's great. Yeah. It's great. But she's, she's amazing. She's incredible. She came over at the studio about four weeks ago to um, to see how it was all going and she was sitting in tears listening to this song she'd written. She's like, and I'm she so has, happy you've recorded these. She has such a calming yeah. sort of, and, and she'll not mind me saying this, but she's a real maternal way about yeah. her. You know, you feel you feel so calm and safe so, when she's there. And so experienced, you know, yeah. she's worked from, I mean, she was. I think she was working with Will I Am last week. She's got, gone from Faith Hill to the <laughs> biggest country stars, biggest pops. She's worked with so Absolutely. many incredible people. And of course she wrote this case for Faith yeah, Hill as yeah. well. Um, right, you're going to sing live for us. Yes. Uh, tell us what you're going to sing. I'm going to sing you a song um, that was written for the album um, by an incredible girl called Belle Humble. And it's called I Have a Broken Heart. Oh, Joe, have you had a broken heart? Um, I've been upset. I don't know whether it was a broken heart, but I've been upset. <laughs> You'll know it if you have it. I hope you don't. <laughs> right, this is uh, Joe McEldry. His new album, of course, is uh, called Here's What I Believe, and it's out on the 10th of September. Joe, take it away. People tell me I'm too young to know that I'll get over you And time will let you go but they don't feel The way I feel right now If they knew you in the way I did And how you loved me They'd understand this pain is real No time won't heal so This is how it feels to be torn apart the sky is falling down and I'm lost in the dark How will I ever get over you? How will I ever get over you? I know I gotta try but I'm dying inside And I don't know where to start so this is how it feels to have a broken heart, yeah. The world looks different now, and I realize I'm not invincible. I'm just another guy who paid the cost, who loved and lost. I wonder where you are, I know I can't stop myself. Keep thinking that maybe you're with someone else, it's killing me. I want to be free, so this is how it feels to be torn apart. The sky is falling down, and I'm lost in the dark. How will I ever get over you? How will I ever get over you? I know I gotta try, but I'm dying inside And I don't know where to start So this is how it feels to have a broken heart Oh, yeah Ooh, a broken heart. Oh, see what I mean?
mean? Tears I'm welling up here. <laughs> <laughs> um, I mean, hitting those high notes and obviously pop star to opera star as well. That was unbelievable yes. last year. Um, what about musicals and, and, and things like that? You know, everybody asks that. I think after doing that show last year, the training mm. kind of proved that I could kind of sing in that style. I mean, I would do it. It just, if you're going to commit to something that long, it's got to be a show that you really want to do. You're doing the same thing every night. You want to put your, your stamp on it. Yeah. So if the right show came along, I, I really want to do You it. must have one in mind. Is there one I in really mind? want to do, um, like, I, I want somebody to make a, a new Grease, like a new style film of Grease. Ah, Not right. Grease, but the, an, another storyline, but the same right. concept with the music. And yeah. I'd love to be a part of something. We needed like a Grease of our time. You know, like my generation. Do it so I want to do it. There you go. <laughs> Joe McHale just going to copyright that idea. No? <laughs> so, yes. so, Joe, obviously you're here um, talking about the album, but something very special is happening tomorrow, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. I'm um, performing as part of the parallel. The first, I think it's the first place it visits um, Belfast City Hall tomorrow yeah. um, I'm performing for the Paralympic Torch Festival um, so I'm, I'm performing when it arrives um, doing a show for entertaining everybody that's going to be there so Excellent. it's going to be really cool the atmosphere is going to be great it's going to be and amazing. whenever I come over here the crowds are always incredible everybody's so supportive So, and I haven't performed here for nearly properly a proper show I think it's nearly two years it was two Christmases ago so I can't wait to perform for everyone. And did you get into the whole spirit of 2012 and the Olympics? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I, got, I was fortunate enough to see the opening ceremony. You were not. I was, yeah. It was pretty incredible. Really? Um, and I also performed in Hyde Park for the BT gigs. Yeah, um, true. With the, where the, <laughs> they were showing all the Olympics. And I went on stage like 10 minutes after Chris Hoy had won the, the gold medal. So oh, the crowd oh, that were like, have been electric. Oh, like they were going crazy. And then the screens opened and we performed with the band. Everybody was just jumping all over and party. It was great. Oh. Really, really good. Joe, it's been amazing. I love talking to you. Oh, thank you. Um, it's just like, you just get, there's just so much energy around you. It's fabulous. It really is. Um, the album is out on the uh, 10th of September. Are you going to be doing a tour maybe with it? Yeah, I've got two album launch shows um, to, to kick it off in Newcastle and London. Mm -hmm. um, and then the idea is that I'll go on tour in January. So I'm, I'm, I want this to be one of the one-stop places I can't do because I always love coming over here. <laughs> right, tell us about uh, the new single. I'm going to play it now. It's called mm. uh, Here's What I Believe. And actually, we've got some Shakespeare sister coming up too, yes. quite coincidentally. Yeah. Um, it was co-written between me, Marcella Detroit, and um, Gav Clark from the band Uncle. Yeah. And it's kind of like a conversation to to an, an, an ex when this is sung, saying that you're not going to put up with the rubbish anymore, you know, you, you can't understand why they want to just... It, it's all about, like, the lies and trials and tribulations of a relationship, basically. And it's just about saying, all that you know what. <laughs> well, just all about, like, like people, like, like, lying and playing games and just, like, that you don't want to put up with that, you know, so it's like, here's what I believe, I'm not, I'm not going to do this anymore. Like, I, don't, I never believed in this kind of stuff, so... See you later. Get lost. I've had enough of you. <laughs> Adios, amigos. <laughs> Get out of here. Joe, lovely talking to you. Thanks Thank a million you. for dropping in. This is uh, from, of course, um, the new album. It's the title track from Joe. It's out on the 10th of September. Here's what I believe. Joe, good luck. Thanks a million. Thank you. I'm tired of hanging on to all the games you play.